Hello everybody, this is Seth again. I am publishing this video today. It is about operators. This is a continuation of the series on intro to programming. Yeah. And as a side note, there is a, another channel or a way that you can get help if you're learning Rust. It's the, there's a, in matrix.org, there is a room that's been created for Rust, and that would be the one that I'd recommend Well, going to. It's a chat thing like IRC, and I'll leave a link to it in the description. It, I subscribe to that room, so if, if you ask and no one else answers before I get to it, I'll try and answer the question. I'm not going to promise to be fast, but I will try. <laughs> Anyway, let's dig into it. So, operators. An operator is something that does something. I'm not sure how else to do it. Let's do a code example. And, okay. So, the example, let's make a file. Oh, wait, we need to be over here. We'll call our file um, Doctor Operation. Okay. So let's format it out. All right. So we we have a few operators that are quite common. Uh, let me list them right here. We have all the math operators. We have the plus sign, the minus sign, the times. Multiplication, mul mul where is it? How did I forget? Multiplication, division, and we have modulus. Where is that? Up oh, there. Modulus is just the percent sign. Most of these, they're all pretty straightforward. The way they work on numbers is pretty much how you would expect them to. Uh, modulus, I'll explain later. The Last time I had, I asked you to go through and try doing division on integer numbers. And you get some weird results, such as minum, we'll say 3 divided by, uh, now let's say 16 divided by, thir by blah, 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 3. Yes. All right, so my num is, let's open up this, let's compile it. All right, so my number is five, which you would not really expect the reason why is because the binary representation of the the reason for this is because the binary representation of the integer numbers does not allow for decimal places so when you do division on it it does the closest it can and just chops everything else off it does not do rounding. That is important to note. So if you do 3 divided by 5, no matter how close it is to 2, it's going to default to 1 or 0. Nope, that's 0 in that case. <laughs> no matter how close to 1 that is, it will default to 0. It just will throw everything else away. That's how integer division works. This brings us to how modulus works. Let's go here. And let's go back to our numbers. So let's say, take that number. Let's take the modulus of it instead. Oh, modulus. Okay. And let's say, ah, ah. there. 
and let's compile it. And I'm gonna do a shortcut to just run it. Compile and run. Okay. So what this is doing right here, you know, is modulus does not return it's it's related to division it returns the remainder of the number the there are a few cases this is useful and we will go over one right now let's say you have you know uh, five you need you can fit four people in a cart and you have 15, or let's say, blah, 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 17 people. Dang it. By the way, you don't have to write it like I'm doing. I just keep writing the numbers first on accident. Okay. Let's, how many carts would you expect you'd need? You would need at least five. That's what we're expecting anyway. So let's say we need... We, let's say, needed carts. Yeah. And we, let's say we do, we need this many carts. So we do needed carts. Okay. And let's try running it. <laughs> Four carts, which we know is wrong because there's one extra person. What happens is, again, the integer division, it just cuts off the remainder. So in order to find out if we have a remainder, we would need to do We would need to do a remainder, we'll check the remainder. Oh, <laughs> we are using modulus, that's right. All right. Oh, we have a remainder of Okay, and let me center that so you can see that better. Yeah, we have a remainder of that number of people. So let's, I'm gonna retype this clear, and we're going to compile, and we're gonna run it. Okay, so we have a remainder of one person. This brings us to the next thing. There are a few more kinds of operators that we have that we call Boolean operators. The, a Boolean value is true or false. So operators relating to that are relating to whether or not the overall statement is true or false. Generally, we work with those in things called if statements. We'll go into these in more detail later, but I will be using them now, and you can you're feel you're free to learn about them on your own. It's not like I'm, you know, <laughs> your teacher or your limiter. Anyway, so let's go and look at our code. So what we can do here is we can say if there if there is a remainder greater than 0 then we want to say that we need one more cart Remember, this is a, an assignment, so when we say 
the when we say here this value will overwrite this also remember in rust these values are immutable by default so we need to say that we need to be able to change it or mutable so it's a mutably declared variable okay. we're at there that's good enough okay so we saved it let's run it we need five cards which if you remember the number of people was 17 17 divided by 4 is 4 with a, uh, with a remainder of 1 which we need that but let's just so you know that this works we'll make the remainder 2 still works that's really it for now. I will, like I said, we'll go into Boolean operators and more of that later. But the Boolean operation here is the greater than sign. We're checking to see if this is greater than this. What will happen is just like how when you say 1 plus 2, it consolidates in your code to the 1 plus 2 it'll consolidate in your code to 2 remainder greater than 0 if remainder is 1 1 is greater than 0 it will replace it with a true or if it is equal to 0 it'll return it it'll replace it with a false cuz 0 is not greater than 0 there is also less than greater than less than greater than or equal to than less than or equal than yeah you get that. I'll put some of the other remainders in the description, but just so you can see what they look like, let's go. Let me show you. So greater than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, less than. So obviously this won't work because, you know, we broke it. But anyway, so there we go. Now, the homework for this time is to go through, type this out yourself, and make sure that, you, and just run through it with other scenarios you can think of. Try also to, you know, try it with other types, see if you get variables. The most important thing you can do in learning is trying to do it and doing it on your own when you finally if you are gonna get a job doing this you will not last very long if you cannot find your own answers there will be you it's always acceptable to ask someone but if you don't know how to get all of your how to get any of your answers then you will not be a valuable employee to them anyway this has been it thank you for watching and yeah bye